Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about weighing your gerbils. Here I have a basic kitchen scale um, that is measured in ounces and grams. And I have my kitchen weigh boat and I wrapped it simply in saran wrap because my mom does occasionally use this scale. Um, so first I just put the saran wrap bowl and lock it down on and then I will zero out the scale there's a little black knob back here that you twist until it is zeroed out this is a manual scale and I do recommend electric ones or digital ones so to speak um, in order to have a pr better accuracy so I've never weighed the girls before but I'm curious to see if they're the weight they're supposed to be so I will be trying a few different ways to do this so I we'll see how it works Hey everyone, so first here I have Anastasia. She seems to be my slower, quieter gerbil. So I'm just going to put her in here. And, hi baby, shh. She seems to be, okay. Right. <laughs> so she came down to this mark here, which is about 50 grams, um, if that seems right. Um, or it, it would be 2 ounces. So that seems about right to me. So I'll be putting her back because she's very squirmy right now because she sees her sisters. So I got Miss Matilda here, and uh, here she is, right here, and I'll be doing a different method for her. Um, I'll be doing the seed method. She is my eater, so I'll be putting a few seeds down here. Look, are these seeds? Okay, so she seems to be a little bit more so, so she's coming down to that mark right there, which is um, one mark over 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, okay. So she's about 60 grams, um, a little bit. So I don't think the seeds weigh that much. So she's, I guess, a bit chubbier than her sisters. So I will be putting Miss Matilda back and getting Miss Natalia and trying a different method. Hi guys, I have Miss Natalia here, who is obviously my speed demon of the three. And I will be doing the ball method with her. So I'm just gonna get her situated. Um, right now, and uh, then I will show you guys what that means. So, I wish I could show you, but it's kind of difficult while holding her. Oh, uh, she's definitely very, very fast compared to the other two. So, I have Natalia, and I will be putting her gently into this ball. I know you can barely see this, and I'm attaching the lid. So, I hope this doesn't weigh too much. Okay. So, I have her study here with the ball and it says she's about oh gosh um it says oh my gosh she stop moving it says she's about eight ounces with the ball so now i'm going to put her back in the tank and now i'll be measuring the ball to subtract the differences in weight. And I probably could have just zeroed it out, but whatever this works too. Okay. So it says that the ball itself weighs about 6.5 gram or ounces. So she weighs just under an ounce? Oh my gosh, that's difficult. Alright, let me try it again with the treat method for her. Okay guys, so I got Miss Natalia again. Now I'll be putting her in here with a seed. Come here, baby. Do you want a seed? You want a seed? Honey, oh, you're going to tip it over. Sit down. <laughs> Sit still. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay, okay. So she is about... She's really not happy. She's... About two ounces also. Oh, she found the seed. Okay. So she's also about two ounces or just over 55 grams. Okay. So from this, I've discovered that Natalia is very difficult to weigh. Um, and all of my dribbles weigh about the same. Anastasia being the smallest, I believe, then Natalia, then Matilda. Um, I've never really done this research on the weight. Um... I know that females currently weigh a bit less than males, but that's about it. So there is the simple method of just kind of plopping them in, like I did with Anastasia, 
the seed method that I did with Matilda because Matilda and Natalia will take seeds outside of the cage but Anastasia just won't and then um, Natalia this that was just difficult so um, I'm going to do a bit of research real quick and then come back hi guys so I have this gerbil book it's the complete care made easy um, and it's written by Donna Anastasia here so and the table of con I got this from my library um, it says the table of contents durable health and hazards so that's page 90 all right oops so I really recommend this book if um, you guys don't are interested in them I think this is a really really great book it's basically just called gerbils so I would look for it in a library if you have one okay so I found it on the first page under just the facts and it says gerbils have a lifespan of three and a half years they have a four and a half inch long body um, with a tail the same length an adult female weighs as little as two and a half ounces so I guess Anastasia is a bit underweight and an adult male, especially one that overindulges in sunflower seeds, can weigh as much as four ounces. So my girls are definitely under three ounces, all of them. So I guess my girls are still a bit small. I don't. I feel like they're a bit less chubby than other gerbils. Like in these pictures, my girls are pretty thin. They don't seem very large at all. Like that one looks more like my girls. I don't know. So. <laughs> They look about the same as other female gerbils, if you guys can see that. But, um, I still feel like my girls are a bit small, so I'll show you my girls real quick. They're currently cleaning themselves. That's Natalia, and that's Matilda, who I guess is the chubby one of the bunch. She definitely seems to be the, sorry, the cage is pretty gross. Um, Matilda definitely seems to be the boss girl of the group, and Ta Anastasia definitely is the baby that gets kind of overrun very often. So, um, please message me or comment down below if you have any um, thoughts on their weight or if their weights are okay or any knowledge on that, because um, I'd be, oh my gosh, I'm really interested. Natalia not jumping out right now. Get down. Get down, lovely. Oh, honey. Okay, so she jumped out. She wanted mommy time. So, I guess you guys get to see um, me and Miss Natalia. Hey, honey. She will jump down my back and run away. So, this is Natalia. She's a big mama's girl. They all are. Anastasia seems to be the least tame. Um, and I think that's because she's so quiet in your hand that um, I feel like I don't hold her as much because she's so much quiet, but Natalia loves to be out. So this is Natalia, and if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or please information on the way, I'd love, love, love to hear it because I'm always interested in learning more. So thank you guys very much for watching this, and have a good day. Bye.